I waited up for you last night. Half the night. I'm sorry, I was just dozing in front of the telly. What's happening to us, Alfie? Yeah, please, don't look now, all right? Has he won, then? We've got to do something. You've got to do something, because I can't take this anymore. Now, now, hello, darling. Come in here. Want some breakfast, baby, yeah? Oh, I, I didn't think I'd bother, Alfie. No, you've got to have something. Keep your strength up, yeah? Oh, oh all right. Uh, I'll sit down and I'll have a cup of tea. Good. Okay. Oh, Kat. Are you all right, darling? Yeah. She didn't sleep well this all, didn't you? Oh, dear. Oh, you thought that, did you? Uh, well, I'll have to get back to you on that. Uh, just checking. I put the numbers in properly. It's going to take me another week to find out how to text on this thing. Why the rush? Well, I've got people to see, places to go. Remember those days in Spain when we didn't get up till lunchtime? Yeah, with me it was love and you... more like a hangover. Well, whatever it was, best way of starting the day that I know how. It's one of that bar I've made any profit. Come on, your club doesn't open for hours yet. Well, I suppose there's still time for breakfast in bed. Yeah, now, nice cup of Rosie. Oh, thank you. Cat. I'm off out. Hold on, hold on. Where, where are you going? I just need to get out. Alfie, what's wrong? No, nothing then. Just catch just wants a bit of fresh air. That's all, darling. Haven't you sorted things out between you yet? Oh, then we are fine. She said a bit of a late night last night, that's all. Yeah, but you know, Alfie, the longer these things go on, the more difficult <sighs> it is to sort out. Then I know. Do you know? William and I never went to bed on an argument. Oh, what a shame we aren't. A bit more like you and William, eh? <laughs> no, but y you can be, Alfie. Now, you make sure that when Cat comes back, you sort things out with her, eh? It's a lovely bit of sparkle, madam. Do you fancy it? I'd never get away with this. Of course you can. You've got a wicked figure. I don't think I can do it, Kel. Karina, you'll make a great rep. Come on, look, we'll help each other out. It'll be such a love. All we've got to do is find a way to get Spence there and it'll be the best summer ever. Yeah, all right. Well, I better tell Ian and my brothers. See you later. Deck Manta, Alpha Echo, Foxtrot 1. Can you do a pick up from uh, Hilton Park Lane to uh, Gatwick? Over. No, I'm afraid I'm way too busy counting the tip from the last shout. Hello, Ferrera Cars. Sting, how are you, man? Sorry, brother, we're busy. Look, we can't help you. Tarek Taxis, if you don't mind. Tarek Taxis, man. Don't think so. Yeah, you know, I reckon all the punters will be like, uh, we were expecting a Ferrari. Well, that can't be <laughs> awful for business, can it? What do you reckon, Ads? Well, uh, what we call ourselves is the least of our worries. We've got to get our application to the public carriage office, find out what the insurance is going to cost us. <sighs> don't worry about all that. No, we're not starting this unless we are licensed and insured. Uh, and listen, don't think about looking for the keys, because you won't find them. Well, at least you don't actually have to hide them anywhere. Just put them down. <laughs> and you, you're not being controller. Why not? Because you two are going to end up messing about, that's why. Yeah, so who's going to do it then? Well, Karina, of course. She'll keep you two in line. That is a great idea. We are going to clean up, make a pile. Yeah, and then we'll have a fleet of brand new cars and we'll be out of it in no time. Now, this is going to be the best summer ever. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> you right, bruv? Yeah, yeah, I'm all right. You don't look it. No, I'm all right. You're on the other end, look like someone who's lost a ground and found a turnip. What's the matter? Uh, nothing. Oh, no, I've just been your usual sunny self, I am. Uh, <laughs> Kelly got the job in Spain, but I didn't. Don't tell me. You, you told him you couldn't limbo dance. How many times have I told Spencer you've got to lie about these things? It's going to be all beach parties and clubbing all night long and everyone's seen her in a bikini but me. Yeah, but just think what she's going to be missing, Spence. You running around in your England box of shorts when we win the footy, come on! Yeah, but it's not going to be the same, is it? What are you talking about? Spending the summer with Spencer Moon, she's the luckiest girl alive, that Kelly. Well, I'm <laughs> the lucky one. That she even looked at me in the first place. All right. Does she know how you feel? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? Don't you think, you know, I was just trying to talk to her about it. What if she doesn't feel the same? <sighs> Spencer, sometimes, right, you've got to put yourself out there. You know, just take some action and find out I know if it's meant to be. Like you and Kat? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're right. You're right, I've got to do something.
hardly been here a week. Well, I'm sorry, but Sun Sea Sound or this place, it was no contest really. Well, what am I supposed to do? I really don't need staffing problems right now. Well, I can work today. Oh, thanks. I'm sorry, it's the best I can do. Well, don't expect a glowing reference, will you? Helen, I've been thinking about this whole thing, us not being together for the summer. Oh, no, I've been thinking about it too. You have? Yeah, listen, why don't we get your flight out there so you can try and find a job? <sighs> Kelly, I can't afford it. Yeah, well, I'll help you out a bit. Look, but, <laughs> Kelly, I can't. What if I go out there and I can't get a job? I can't live off you. You should be coming too, Spence. I know. Maybe I can find some way of coming out for a week or two. I'll ring you every day. It'll fly past. It really will. Yeah, it's just the summer, isn't it? Well, I told him. Guess it's really happening, isn't it? What about you, Spence? Are you coming too? No, I've got to give it a miss. I better go back to the vic, Kelly. I'll see ya. All right, Kat. Buy you another coffee. Get away from me. You sure you're all right? What can I get you? Nothing. Change your plan. OK, so that's a table for two at 5.30 this evening in the name of Den Watts. Yeah. OK, thank you. Right. Where was I? Well, I think you were running late, weren't you? Well, I've got an excuse now, haven't I? Mm. See you later. Yep. I believe you've not placed an extra order. Uh, Sam, I'm sorry, darling, my mind's been elsewhere. That's all. This centenary thing is probably the biggest thing that Wolford has seen for years, all yeah, right? Yeah. There's going to be hundreds of people coming down. How embarrassing if they drink us dry. Well, I got into the brewery straight away, it'd be all right. Yeah, all right. Well, we need decorations too, you know? Big banner and, and bunting. Bunting? Yeah, it's fine, it'll be all right. We've got to put all the stops out, okay, Alfie? Yeah? Oh, I'm sorry, am I boring you? No, no, I'm, I'm sorry. Thought like oh, you might be here. Hello. Oh, yeah. Mm. So, any news? Still waiting for that phone call. Mm, always wheeling and dealing, aren't you? Glad to see someone's interested in making a little bit of money round here. Well, if this goes down, we've got some serious celebrating to do. Yeah, well, I know a very nice, very expensive restaurant. Well, <laughs> the things we have to do to keep our women happy, eh, Alfie? How's Cat doing these days? She's fine, ever better. Really? Well, I saw her in the cab just now. She seemed really down. It was a bit of a late night last night, just catching up with us all. Oh, right, yeah. Yeah, that must be it. Right, come on then, I'm gonna go. Yeah. See you later, Alfie. See ya. Kate, you uh you know it's your half day today. No, Ian, I am not doing anything. Wait, it's just I've had the crush on the phone. Bobby's got an eye infection, I want me to go pick him up. Oh, it's not serious, is it? Oh no, it's nothing to worry about. It's just I'm I'm stuck here, I can't get over to pick him up. I was I'm going to you Well, I was going to go shopping this afternoon. No, I know, but look, I'm much me eyes water catering for the centenary celebration, so I really wouldn't ask if I wasn't desperate, so please. I tell you what, right? Why don't I just shut down the nail bar and open a chow mining service? Thanks. Yeah, I'll be back home with the twins once I've picked them up from school, will I? Ian, you know, you've got to get this sorted. It's ridiculous. Yeah, I know. I will. I'll see you later then, okay? Bye. What are you so happy about? Well, it's not a crime, is it? Usually means you're up to something. Oh, what is it with the women in my life? Always suspecting the worst. Yeah, when I was a kid, it was either poker games or some dodgy deal going down. Well, I'm off the cars now, darling. I'm the respectable owner of a nightclub. Must be love, then. I'm saying nothing. You don't have to. I've seen Chrissy looking at you. Watching my every move, you mean? Got your number, Ashley. You're not far wrong there, Princess. You know, Dad, I can't figure you two out. You always seem to be having a go at each other. Oh, it's just the way we carry on. I can't see the appeal myself. Well, she keeps me on my toes. I'm thinking of auditioning for the Royal Ballet. Can you imagine me in tights and a poster? <laughs> right, so what's it going to be, then? I don't know. Just a tidy up, I suppose. Why am I the home help? I think I can do better than that. Glamorous, sexy, sophisticated, that's what I'm thinking. Well, I just need cheering up, really. Oh, you got my own trouble. A nice fellow of yours giving you grief. Well, let's do something to stop his eyes from wandering, eh? I oh, know, he's not like that. Mm -hmm. They all are deep down. Never hurts to give them a little nudge, keep them on their toes, remind them how lucky they are to have you. It's all part of the game. Well, I've never been one for games. I'd like to know where I stand. I know, with some blokes you never do, that's the problem. Mm, I don't 
date there. I'm a bit like that myself. Part of the charm. Keeps it exciting. I just want my head back. Well, then you've got to go in and fight for it. To the death, if needs be. Right. Why don't I give you a bit of a colour lift? That'll make you feel sexy. Yeah, go on then. <laughs> uh, zippy car... No, 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 no. Nippy cars will get you there in a jiff. Guys, I'm off to the carriage office. See if I can hurry things up, yeah? Yes, yes. Ah, it's incredible. Who do you want to be? Fox Arena or Wild Cat? What? Your call sign when you are controller of Tarek Taxis. You know, what? actually, I'm really pleased you're all here. I've got some really great news. Oh, you managed to make them hurry the licence through? Me and Kelly have managed to get ourselves club rep jobs in Ibiza for the summer, and they want us to fly out on Thursday. You're going to Spain? To work? For the summer? Wow. I mean, how did you manage to swing that? It's great, isn't it? Anyway, um, better get back to the cab. Yeah. Yeah, what about Kate Kennedy? You fancy going there? Yeah, I don't mind, wherever. Oh, come on, son. We're going to be in America in a few days. No. We can't just leave everything as it is. Dot and Polly not talking to each other. But there's nothing you can do. Mm -hmm. It's all our fault. We had to live somewhere, yeah? So one of them was bound to be put out. Maybe I should go and talk to Dot again. Look, they've tried to make it up with them and it's just made it worse. I've got to work it out on their own. Hey, Are you coming to the market some team new party? Oh, fat chance. Oh, come on, all work and no play. All right, I'll try and get a babysit. I'm, I'm running out of favours. Well, look, take a ticket just in case, yeah? Mm. I'll have one if it's going. Oh, I've got just the thing for you. That eye colour. Oh, it's perfect. I could do you a lovely deal on a nice set of earrings. Remember, you don't have to be a millionaire to look like one. Are you all right? Yeah, take a ticket. Confirmation's just come through from the holiday company. We're staying at the Paradise Apartments. And that sound exotic. I'll give you the contact numbers and everything. Yeah, you better do that. This is no fun for you, is it? No, I, I want to help you get ready. Yeah, but you should be coming too. Yeah, well, it's my own stupid fault, innit? No, it isn't. Should have done better with the interview. Spence, you haven't really said how you feel about me going. I want you to go. I want you to have a great time. You deserve it. Yeah, but what about you? I'll be all right. I've got the footy. That's all I need. I don't have to go if you don't want me to. But you do want to. Not if it means leaving you here miserable. <sighs> Kelly, I'd miss you so much. Why didn't you say? Because I didn't want to spoil it for you. Yeah, well, I'll have a much better time here with you when I... <sighs> Come here. You like it? Yeah, I'm fine. Good to get out then, yeah? Just meant to cheer myself up. Right. I'm going to fight this, you know. I'm not going to let him win. Yeah. And you're right. You know, I'm going to try harder as well. Really? Yeah. Right. Better serve him. Mm. Pour me a shot around there, boy. You better make it a double. Oh, you're one of those days as well, are you? Yeah, I just lost my shirt on a horse race. Sorry, mate. Yeah, well, I can't blame nobody but myself. Man, I tell you that. Andy and his little lines of credit. <laughs> Controller, Karina. It's a really important job. And it means you wouldn't have to stay here. It's going to be so much fun working in Spain. Oh, no, this is going to be fun. I mean, you'll be keeping us straight, thinking fast, keeping track of the cars, helping us out when we get lost. Come on, you're going to be really good at it. And we really are depending on you. You can do it just as well as me. Oh, Ronnie and Tarek will never listen to me. You can manage the summer without me. Look, this is my chance to do something really different. Anyway, I've already promised Kelly I'd go and I don't want to let her down. My mind's made up. Listen, darling, I've been thinking maybe it's time me and you spent a bit of quality time together. Just, you know, just got away from it all, just me and you. Oh, Elfie. Yeah, you know, I thought maybe something like this. It's great. Oh, it's a bit pricey, but I think we might be able to do something about it. It's either that or down at my Art Neil's caravan in South End. <laughs> what, that place where you used to stay as a kid? Uh, like that's still standing. You never know. <laughs> you said it was miles away from the toilet block. Well, millions of miles, you can get about any hot water. You ain't selling this to me, you know. Yeah, and if you're lucky, I might let you have the top bunk. <gasps> oh, the top bunk! <laughs> we all would not let anybody else have the top bunk. <laughs> Let's get that champagne going then, yeah? Oh, I knew you'd swing it. <laughs> be right back. How's your hangover then, Cap? Well, you're looking much better. So, uh, Alfie taking any of nice? Huh? Brought the champagne over here, yeah? Spence, you want to sort that one out, please, bro? Yeah. What are you doing? I was going to serve him. Well, you shouldn't have to do that. Look, he's going to come in here with Sam's boyfriend. We've just got to live with it. Doesn't mean we've got to like it, Cap. And let him know that he's got to us. Oh, of course not. We have to get past this, Alfie. You have to get past this. 
Everything all right? Yeah, sorry, Sam. Yeah, we're just, um, you know, sorting things out, so... All right, well, we're celebrating here, so, um, let's see some happy faces behind the bar, OK? Sorry. Just take a couple of 50s from Andy, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Till you see what I've got. Ta da! Karina's cars! Tarek! Well, we all agreed it was the best name for it. Tarek, I'm still going to Spain. Oh, look, come on, it's gonna be so cool. It's only rich and famous people who catch cows. Who knows who we're gonna meet? I'm not going. Kelly? I couldn't do it to Spencer, I can't leave him like this. But I thought he was okay with it. Yeah, he says he is, but he's just being nice. He really doesn't want me to go. But it's only Spencer. I mean, he's not going anywhere. He'll be here when you get back. I just can't do it to him, Karina. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. You're not really sorry, are you? Well, Ibiza's loss is our game. There you are. I thought you said you beat the flask. Oh, I'm sorry. I've been trying to sort this out. I the Pauline's had the twins for All oh, right. What, do you want me to take them around there? Oh, no, no. Not the mood she's in her and Dot. Oh, it's ridiculous. Come in, mate. You come and have a cuddle with your dad. Yeah. <laughs> now, listen. Right, I took your advice. Right, now this is going to solve all my problems. It's all in here, all right? Right, we've got the chippy, we've got the calf, we've got the school pickups, Bobby's and the twins. I'm pretty down for some of Bobby's. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm glad you taught me. But actually, Ian, I was thinking more than our pair. No, no, honestly, this is the best thing for it. Honestly, it's just a question of me managing my time more effectively. Mm. <sighs> Looks like you're off to a flying start. Yeah, he's, uh, you're just trying to help me, aren't you, mate? <laughs> Anywhere you want to go. Right, you two, listen, you're my witnesses, all right? This man has promised to take me on a cruise. <laughs> oh, very nice. I quite like the idea of sitting on a deck chair, you know, cocktail in my hand, not care in the world. <laughs> oh, no, not really nice scene. It's a bit below them cruises. I want to ruin my hair, eh, Alfie? Uh, give us south then any day. Yeah, well, that's a good job he's not taking you then, eh? So, um, when are we going? Well, just as soon as I can clear some time, you know, and uh, make a bit of space. See? Well, He's already trying to wriggle out of it. <laughs> Another bottle of champagne and a uh, drink for my friend over there. Thank you kindly. And a decent cigar if you've got one, Alfie. You've got a table for Dan Watts? Um, hi. <laughs> I think there's been a, a mistake. Um, I'm Chrissy. I'm Den's wife. I texted a friend on his mobile today and I must have got the wrong number because you're here and she's not. Well, I don't know about any text. Den rang me this afternoon, suggested we met up. Oh, he did, did he? Yeah, I'll tell you, here he is now. All right, Den. Well, good to see you, mate. Well, this is a pleasant surprise. Isn't it just? So what are you doing here? Well, I was meant to be meeting a friend, but we seem to have got our wires crossed. With all this modern technology, you wouldn't think these things could still happen. No, you'd have thought so, but I don't think it's the technology that's a problem, Dan. I think it's the people. Well, you're here and uh, we're here, so why don't you join us? I'd love to. Guess I won't be needing this. Oh, I'm sorry, sis. You know, I probably wouldn't have made a very good rep anyway. Of course you would. You keep us boys in line, a busload of tourists would be no problem for you. Yeah, but what about rep talent night? Karina, you're forgetting something. You're Dan Ferreira's daughter, remember? <laughs> yeah, that's why we always used to get up and sing blue suede shoes when we were five years old. Never quite up to his standards, though. Yeah, but I remember, you have got a great voice. You know, Kelly nearly had me believing that I could do this. Be a party girl and, and lead the fun. What have I ever done but being good old sensible Karina? Running the house, working the store. Karina, you were so up for it. I suppose I just wanted to see if I could do it. Now I'll never know. Right. Come on. Hey. Come on. Come on! Ah, give it some! Come on! Woo! Woo! <laughs> That's it! <laughs> there you go. First stand innovation. Mwah! What's up, man? Oh, Missy. 
Sam keeps going on about that leak under the sink. Oh, yeah, I was going to have a look at that for him, wasn't I? Yeah, yeah, yeah you get me a lot of brownie points if you could sort it soon. Yeah, all right, I'll have a look at it later on. Uh, now, Minty, it's not the sort of thing you want to leave. Anything could happen. Huh? There goes my evening. Oh, I'm knackered. It's been non stop, no sign of Zoe. I don't know how I'm going to get through this summer if she don't start pulling her away. What you need is a holiday. Yeah, well, we'll have a dirty weekend in Clacton, yeah? I've decided I'm going to do it. I'm going to go on my own. Oh, Karina, I'm so glad. I didn't want to spoil it for you. Well, I mean, I've got to do it. You know, everyone else will be in the same boat. And plus a few parties and a few beach barbecues and I'll have loads of friends. Of course you will. And at least we'll get to hear all about it. <laughs> so, um, can you sort me out with some beach gear? Yeah, let's go. See ya. <laughs> I had a good time. And I learned a few things about you too. Oh, it's a good job we didn't make a night of it then. Yeah, it was a shame Will had other plans. But understandable since you called him at such short notice. Look, when the restaurant rang to confirm a booking that I hadn't even made, I thought, well, why waste it? Well, all worked out all right in the end then. You don't have to worry, you know that. What? That I made Will late? You really don't have to worry. Yes, mate. Oh, pardon, please. No worries. Say, uh, have one for yourself. Oh, thanks. Spence! Spence! Spencer, what are you doing? Come on, mate. Kelly's decided not to go. Hey, great news. You better get back down then. But she's staying because she feels sorry for me. Spence, I'm sure she's not, but why don't you just go and talk to her about it? I'm sorry, I know we're busy. I'll be down in a minute. All right, pal, what's the problem? This is something Kelly's always wanted to do. Right. And she'd be so good at it. Alfie, she's the life and soul of the party. She's so nice. I can't let her give all this up. No, but it's her decision now, isn't it? She must have realised how I felt. There you go. She really cares about you then. But she's making a big sacrifice and I'm letting her do it. Well, all right, tell her to go then. She'd just say she didn't mind. Spencer, hear me out a sec, right? Sometimes you've got to be, you know, a bit of a man about these things, you know? Yeah, take charge of the situation. How do you mean? Well, if telling her to go makes her happy, right? It might be bad for you in the short term, but in the long run, I reckon, I reckon it'd be best for both of you, yeah? Yeah, you're right. Yeah. It's not fair. I can't let her miss out on this with me. Go down and talk to them, mate. Ooh, Alfie keep you on a tight rein these days. All right, his seems a bit off today. This ain't gonna work. Me and Alfie are solid, all right? You ain't gonna get what you want. Well, I'm glad to hear it. I'll have to shorten the odds of my friend, I? What should we say? Uh, 40 to 1 on you two making it to a year. Hmm? Nice. What was all that about? It was nothing. Oh, come on. It was nothing. I said that, Kat, because I saw your face. Oh. We have to leave it. He's not worth it. So I know what he said to you, that's all. Don't worry, I was sticking up for you. But you're not making it easy. Well, well, hold on a sec. You have to protect me, Kat, right? None of this would have happened if you told me what he wanted last time. All right. So you would have gone round and got yourself half killed and that would have been much better. Yeah, or maybe it would have. You don't mean that. Cat, someone's got to stand up to him, all right? You can't keep getting everything that he wants. What are you talking about? You're giving him exactly what he wants. No, you're doing that. What's that supposed to mean? Well, leaning over the bar for a cosy chat and giving him an eyeful. All right. So all this sparing my feelings, you don't have to serve Andy. That would have old cobblers, wouldn't it? You're just worried that I enjoy seeing him. Oh, I don't see you in no great hardship. You think that night cost me nothing, didn't you? Just a bit of fun with me ex. No, of course not. When you look at me, what do you see, eh? His hands all over me, me loving every minute of it. I ain't just stopping It's that tape, right? innit? You're playing it over and over. Why can't he just leave us alone, this eh? This is about him. This is about you and me. No, no. Why don't you come to bed anymore? Why can't you bear to touch me? It's not true, Kat. Well, then prove it, Elfie. Hold me, please. Just show me that he isn't one. Well, 
What's the matter? Afraid I might measure you up to him? Afraid I might compare you? Don't you? Well, I'm just an old tart, and I. I might as well keep him sweet in case my husband needs a few grand again. You sure, and then? That'd make you feel like a real man, wouldn't it? You ain't called the other day company. No, I'm just gonna. Well, don't, because you're going. What? I want you to go. But we've been through this already. I know, Kelly, and it means a lot to me that you give it all up for me. It really does. But I wouldn't be able to forgive myself if you missed out. Spence. That's why you got to go. All right, I'm going to miss you like crazy. I'll be thinking about you every second of the day, wondering what you're doing. And I don't know how I'm going to get through it. But I will do, just as long as I know you're coming back to me. Of course I am. Thank you. I don't deserve you. destroyed it all. He's destroyed. <laughs> Friday at 8, Cat and Alfie are close to the edge and hour of EastEnders. Friday night at 8 on BBC One. And Nicky Chapman goes behind the scenes of EastEnders.